Hello friends, welcome to MS Safety webcast. In today's video, we are going to see the step-by-step -step installation of Windows Server 2019 in Oracle VM VirtualBox. For this demonstration, I'm going to create new virtual machine. And here I'm going to specify the name for our virtual machine, which will be a WS2K19 in my case. We have an options to select the location where you want to store your virtual machine. Then we have options to select type of our operating system which we are installing. It will be a Microsoft Windows in our case. And then we have options to select the version. Under version, I'm going to select Windows Server 2016 64 bit. At the time of this video recording, in Oracle VM VirtualBox, still there is an option to select Windows Server 2019. Let's click on next. Here it is asking us to select the amount of RAM which you want to assign to this virtual machine. I'm going to specify 4GB. Let's click on next. Click on create to create new virtual hard disk. Click on next. Next again. And here I'm going to specify 100GB size for our virtual hard disk. Let's click on create. Once you create your virtual machine, we need to modify certain settings. So for that, I'm going to click on our virtual machine and then I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to click on system and under boot order, I'm going to remove floppy disk. I want my hard disk as a first boot and our optical disk as a second boot. I'm going to click on processor and here at least we want two CPU core for this virtual machine. Now I'm going to click on storage as we are going to mount the ISO image to install Windows Server 2019 on this virtual machine. Let's click on empty and here I'm going to select the ISO image which you can download from Microsoft TechNet website. The link to download this uh, ISO image of Windows Server 2019 Evolution Edition is also given in the description area. Now I'm going to click on Network and under Enable Network Adapters, I'm going to select Breach Adapter as we want internet connection to this virtual machine as well. Once you modify all those settings, then we need to click on OK button. Now we are ready to start the installation. Let's click on start button. This will be the first screen which you are seeing during the installation. Here we have options to select language to install, time and currency format and keyboard or input method, which we are going to use the default one, which is English United States. Now I'm going to click on next to continue. Here. We have a two options. First one is install now to start the installation process. And the second one is repair your computer. If you want to repair your existing Windows Server 2019, that time you can use these options. But we are going for the clean installation. That's why I'm going to click on install now button. On this console, we have options to select the operating system which we want to install. In Windows Server 2019 Evolution Edition ISO image, we have a two editions, Windows Server 2019 Standard Edition and Windows Server 2019 Data Center Edition. Both editions comes with core options as well as desktop experience options. So for this demonstration, we are going to install Windows Server 2019 Data Center Evolution Edition with desktop experience feature. Let's click on Next. Select the checkbox, I accept the license terms and then click on next. Here we have our options to select type of installation. We are going for the clean installation. That's why we need to select the second one, custom install windows only. On the screen, as you can see, we don't have any partitions on this virtual hard disk. So let's create one partition. For that, I'm going to click on new. I'm going to click on apply and then click on OK. This will create two partitions on your virtual hard disk. First one is system reserve partition with 550 MB size and the second one where we are going to install our Windows Server 2019. Let's click on next. Installation process will take some time to complete and the once the installation completes, your server will restart at least for two times. Now let's click on restart now to restart this virtual machine. 
After two reboot, you will reach to this console where it is asking us to set a password for our administrator account. Once you specify the password, click on finish. Now press Ctrl Alt Delete key to unlock this server. Let's specify the password and then hit enter key. Let's click on yes. And in the next step, I'm going to install VirtualBox Guest Edition tools as well. Let's select don't show this message again. Close it and I'm going to close saw manager as well. Now I'm going to click on devices and select insert gas addition CD image as we are going for the installation of VirtualBox gas addition tools on this server. Let's click on file explorer. Click on this PC. Double click on C drive. And here you need to select VBox Windows additions and double click on it. Click on next. Next again and click on install. Click on install again. Okay, now we need to reboot our server. So reboot now is already selected. We simply need to click on finish. Okay, after restart, let's again log into our computer by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete key combination. Let's press with the password and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to right click on start button and I'm going to click on system. Under Windows specification, you can see our addition is Windows Server 2019 Data Center Evaluation and our version is 1809. Now I'm going to minimize this console as well and Server Manager as well as we are going to enable drag and drop feature on this virtual machine. For that, I'm going to click on devices and here we have options to enable drag and drop. I want bi-directional. That means we must be able to drag files and folders from our host computer to our guest computer and our guest computer to our host computer. Similarly, again, I'm going to click on devices and I want to enable shared clipboard as well. Let's select bi-directional. That means we are able to copy text from our host computer into our guest computer as well as from our guest computer to our host computer. Let's go back to server manager. Let's click on local server. And here we go. We have operating system version, Microsoft Windows Server 2019 data center evolution edition. So this is the way how we can install Windows Server 2019 in Oracle VM VirtualBox. That completes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.